Welcome guys, Brandon here from Terminated Gaming, and we're going to get back on World of Warships with another replay. This time, once again, actually not at Tier 9. Uh, we are in Tier 7, Ak Akzuki, along with Zane in his Tier 7, Ak Akzuki. Ak Akzuki? Ak 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 I don't know. The Tier 7 Japanese torpedo boat. Uh, this is a Tier 7 game on the New Dawn Domination map. Of course, there are aircraft carriers in play, because why isn't there at this tier, you know? So, Akakzuki, I do enjoy the ship. It is pretty fun. Top speed, you know, about 30, 38.1, 38.2 knots. Very quick ship. The guns hit hard, reload slowly, like all the other Japanese torpedo boats. The guns are your secondary armament compared to your torpedoes, which the Akakzuki gets, I believe, it's three quad launchers. So, 12 torpedoes it can launch at a side, and it reloads in about 60 seconds, just over 60 seconds. And they do a decent amount of damage, too, so these are very, very good torpedo boats. Um, so, you're going to see in this game, probably my best game in the Akex, you keep pretty easily, hands down. Uh, actually, down in the bottom, it tells you exactly about the uh, statistics of the ship. 38 knot top speed, my detectability is the best you can get it down to, uh, and then... 10 kilometers, 68.4 uh, second reload torpedoes. So, Hakakzuki, pretty fun ship. I'm going to smoke up here to actually capture this uh, cap point because I don't want uh, anybody deciding to just dive in here and spot me and then me lose all my cap points. Uh, it's, it is, oh, okay, it's, sorry, it's three triple launchers of torpedoes, it's not three quads, but they do reload really quick, so. I am launching torps around corners, just to be, uh, just to see if I can get any easy captures, or easy hits. So I do cap this uncontested, and yeah, so now... It's kind of the point of what do I want to do now with my existence. I do control the middle of the map, so I decide, oh, hey, I might as well use the guns, right? And yeah, the guns, you know, they don't have a long range, so they're okay. They do a lot of damage when you can hit all of the shells, though. And here I'm thinking that Murmansk is going to come around the corner, but that Murmansk is smarter than you think. He's not going to eat torps super easy, so he's obviously had problems with torpedo boats like me before. Uh, so I'm going to try to shoot him with the guns to some effect. Not a lot of effect. Um, he's going to purposely run himself aground here. And I'm going to do a decent amount of damage to him. Those incoming torps are, I believe, from a enemy DD that I will spot once I leave this section. Or I'll leave the smoke. Maybe not. I thought, yep, there we go. I'm spotted by something, and it's that Minsk. Engine that it's spotting activated. me. Granted, nothing, nothing cares now that I am here. Um, I launched those torps, I believe, at the Duca just to, to see if I can hit them. And that's when the Mermance decides, hey, I'm going to come out to play now. And uh, he's going to try to take this cap from behind me. Granted, he knew that I was there at one point, but I think now he knows I left. Of course, the Murmansk is two tiers lower, but any ship in this game you should fear in a DD, because if it spots you, you're still pretty squishy. And here I made a kind of a tactical blunder. I was like, oh, I can get around this. Not, you know. But it takes a little bit of skillful maneuvering to get off close to that rock. A little bit. Not super much. But I launched those torps of the Murmansk, but I don't believe I'm going to connect with any of those again, because I believe he's going to die, actually, before those torps even reach him. And, uh, yeah, he's also turned, so those torps were if he continued on his original path, and, of course, he changed it. So I'm not going to get anything with those. Rangers taking his attack planes kind of around where I last was, but now he's bringing them straight towards where I am. And here he starts to uh, start an attack on me. I make a tactical blunder here. I didn't take too much in damage against those planes, but I should have uh, 
hard slowed down to make it hard for him to actually attack me. But I'm here close enough to these two's AA that I was I felt like I should be fine. Uh, you should never assume that. Um, I do take a little bit more damage in that second salvo from his rockets. But uh, definitely you want to play it safer with those uh, CVs. Uh, don't don't sail away from the rocket attack planes. It's easy, it's better to be sailing towards them as they have less time to get the attack off then. So was, I've actually now linked up with Zane over here. And I launch all three sets of tubes against that war spite. Zane, Zane, of course, launched one and then two. I just launched all three. Um, Zane's more of a DD player than me. He has the Harugamo and I, my tier 10 DDs, as of now, consist of two non-tech line DDs. The Marceau and the Smallland. I'm closest now with this line. After this video, I've already gotten the Kagero. I haven't bought it yet, but I have it unlocked. And uh, I'm on the Scotty for the Pan-Europeans. So, of course, that worst fight I believe is actually yeah continuing to back up. So these are not going to hit him, which is disappointing because I thought they were pretty good. And of course, that aircraft carrier is now going to try to launch torps against a DD. Uh, but all I had to do was just slightly speed up, and he had no effect. And now with that war spite backing up, my I can't get a torp launch on him. And then the island's blocking me from the Gnais now. The Colorado's out of range of torpedoes. But uh, once I can clear this island, I will be able to launch torps. I don't know why I launched that set off the top of my head. I don't. Oh, there was a yeah, there was a cruiser in there, and I thought I could maybe get the cruiser with him. Uh, but now I'm launching them just in there against like an eyes now and also trying to bring it so I maybe I could hit the uh, uh, emerald as well. So I fire my guns to shoot at that war spite. Uh, I was hoping maybe I could snag it, but uh, wasn't to be. And now I'm going to start deploying my smoke from who could actually spot me. Also, the ranger was bringing in his planes too, so I was like, eh, better safe than sorry. So the original torps are going in. I'm going to get two off that first set, it looks like. Yep, and cause a flooding on the guys now. Uh, those second sets are uh, not going to hit him. Zane waited a little bit too long to get the smoke screen, so I think he did get hit by those dive bombers. And here the guys now is going to start speeding up. But there's also this Colorado who's sailing in a... 100% straight line, so I only had one torp launcher ready to go, so I launched the one against him. Uh, Zane's torps look like they're good against the Agonize now, uh, compared to mine. And I decide to spread the other ones wider to uh, potentially get that Colorado. And with some big hits on that Agonize now, uh, the King George gets him as well. King George on four kills, uh, most of them on low health targets. So, I start now shooting at the, the Colorado to get a fire going, hopefully. But, of course, from previous videos, if you know, I am very bad at starting fires. Um, I did get one flooding, so that's good. So, he, had, he has to do something about that flooding. And then I'm going to get, looks like, one more torpid again. But his damage con should still be up. He's got an American damage con, so... Uh... Now it's at the point where it's like, okay, so once his damage con is gone, I could maybe get a fire. But of course, I'm Brandon, I don't get fires. Well, first you gotta hit the target, Brandon, but, uh, so I'm going to full speed and try to catch this Colorado around this corner here. Zane, of course, has had some worse for wear. He's got two DDs near him, he's had the carrier was over there on him, so he's he goes down. After having an okay game, I don't think he had a, a super spectacular game at all. But I am gonna risk it here. This Colorado is within my, or I'm within the my detection range on the Colorado. So launch a whole bunch of torps, try to get them to maybe line some up, 
and I'm going to now use my speed because Colorado, every time I've been spotted, he has tried to shoot at me, which is good because, you know, you should shoot DDs when you see DDs. And I'm going to quickly disengage from my detection range on the Colorado, but since I forced all of those torpedoes into the same bearing, I'm not, doesn't look like I'm going to hit any of them. And granted, I hate that it, oh, uh, I hit two and get a flooding. So, that flooding is going to stick for a little bit. I also took out his engine, too, so he's now slow. And flooding. I don't think he even has a heal ready. And he might actually flood to death? Is he... Yep. We, so we get our first kill after this whole bit. 98,000 damage and a kill off of seven torpedo hits. Uh, we actually have a decent amount of gun hits, too, but... Of course, you're not going to have spectacular damage from the guns in, uh, in Akagzuki. So the Minsk is uh, opening fire on the King George, but I figure the King George could uh, deal with that. I also don't have gun range for that, that guy at all. I can only think about shooting at him. I don't think I ever bought the range mod for uh, the Akagzuki, because I was like, uh, I'm not going to ever really use the guns, so... I might have actually skipped over getting that. Here I'm just trying to keep distance from me and those planes, because last thing I want is those planes to see me and then him decide that I'm a target. I get spotted for a split second, but uh, then I finally actually 100% see the Hatsuharu. And I figured the Hatsuharu was actually going to kill me here, because it's a Hatsuharu compared to me. But uh, the Hatsuharu opening salvo did not hit me as hard as my opening salvo hit him King George comes in helps out uh, and uh, yeah I get that kill and since the uh, gun range on my uh, yeah, he's so short nothing's was in within range after the fact to spot me uh, so I could go dark as soon as they kill him so we get our two or er, our second kill and uh, 102,000 damage uh, almost 103,000 damage uh, King George is still trying to work on his uh, fifth kill for his Kraken, and uh, Zane's telling me in the background to try to deny his Kraken, because Zane can't ever get uh, Krakens. They <laughs> Zane and I will get to four kills and then not get the fifth. Uh, granted, my problem with getting kills at all in this game is I can't. So, the King George, he did get a compliment from me, if you didn't see it in the chat, uh, for playing very well. He targeted the DDs and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think the fires that he set actually got him that high caliber. But he played very well. This Leon, I don't believe it, I'm going to actually get with the uh, torps. And I decided to deploy a smoke screen here to protect me against that plane. And I still get clipped by him, so... I'm trying to... Uh, I <laughs> take that shot. I'm so stupid. It's like the island indicator I never pay attention to. And it, it's like, it's not even a small thing. So, we get one torpedo hit lands on the Leon, so that kills him. And uh, that gives us our third kill, 114,722 damage. So, we're doing fairly well. Of course, I'm sitting here until my thing gets repaired. Trying to make sure that the planes have fully left before I uh, try to come over here and uh, cap B. And I was debating whether or not to turn around and try to destroy that Minsk. But I more just tell people to target that Minsk and then I start going towards the uh, B cap to turn it. Because that Minsk is playing a very dangerous game by firing, but I feel like he figures he's gonna dodge everything. And here we find and spot the enemy CV. And this is why he is targeting us, because we're, like, right near him, so... Fair enough. Uh, at this point, I probably should have just kept my AA on, because he's going to fly his plane straight at me every time anyways. Uh, here, I was like, oh, am I going to skirt it? No, no, you're not going to skirt it. I'm trying to just stay in the cap and circle in order to get the uh, capture off, but... Uh, He's, yeah, he, here he comes to line up his uh, torp run, but uh, as we've seen earlier, he's not great with the torpedoes. And he's going to launch those, and I'm just going to slow down and dodge. 
because it's it's hard to torp a destroyer, but the people that can do it are very good players. So he's gonna try it again, and I'm sitting here. I'm like, well, so you could play at that game. Uh, I'm like, oh, he's actually gonna get me with one of these because I he he predicted that I was gonna slow down. So good on him. But as you notice, I'm still trying to learn DDs. I never turned my AA on once here. So this, this that's a problem. I, need, I should just turn my AA on. I have no smokes left, so what's the point of trying to stay unspotted? Um, I should have held those torps just a little bit longer in order to actually get him. And then I fire as if he's actually moving. He's not. He's not moving at all. Uh, so those those gun shells did nothing. And then the, he launches his last little torp there, and it's going to be to no effect because I. I could do, and I get him, and that ends the game. So, to f go over the post battle, we got four kills, one shy of our Kraken as well. 159,622 damage. Uh, Confederate, high caliber, devastator strike. Uh, four floodings, one fire, two single or two solo caps because we also did cap that base. We came top of the team with 2,400 base XP. The King George that died that I was telling you about. 2,000 base XP, and Zane, who died pretty early, uh, finished fourth on the team. So he also did pretty well. And then for damage, we did most of it against two ships, Colorado and Ranger. We did an okay amount against the Lion and the Gneisenau. The Lion for a kill, the Hatsaru we killed with our guns, and we did some gunfire damage to the Mermance as well. Uh, credits and XP-wise, eh, nothing to write home about. It's a regular ship, so... Shut up and sit down.